everybody, my name is Mickey Gaminal and this is ASVAB Domination. The question of the day is an arithmetic reasoning question. Maya purchased a boat for $18,340. Its value depreciated by 15% in the first year she owned it. What was her boat worth at the end of the first year? All right, so this is a pretty common question. It's usually talking about original price and then discount. After discount, you're going to want to find the final price. For the original price, we have 18340 Discount, I'm gonna write in pink, just so we know that this is the amount depreciated, right? So depreciated amount, 15%. Our answer, I'll have it be blue this time. What is the boat worth at the end of the first year? This is gonna be after one year, so you only have to take away 15% one time. Therefore, final price. So these questions are pretty simple. They give you all the information, then you go through and solve. So each year we're losing 15% of the original value. To get 15% of the original value, you just multiply by 15, and then you're gonna get the final price. Now, before we even get into this question, the high speed students are already gonna know how to find 15% of anything. 15% is actually one of those easy percentages to find. Being the reason for that is 15% is equal to 10 plus 5%. 10% is one of the easiest ones to find, and then 5% is just gonna be half of that, right? Half of 10% is 5%. It should be fairly simple. 10%, we just put a decimal one time over, so it becomes 1834. And then 5% is gonna be half of that. So we'll say uh, 917, and that'll give you the 15%. Then you just add those together, subtract it, and then you get your final price. Let's go through, add those together, and subtract. Now we take the original amount, subtract it out, and get the final price. This becomes a 10, so this becomes a 3, borrows. This becomes a 2, asks to borrow. And this becomes a 7, which doesn't have to borrow. So 10 take away 1, 9. 13 take away 5 is 8. 12 take away 7 is 5. 7 take away 2 is 5, 1. 15,589. Now, if you look at the question, you'll notice some of these answers are absolutely ridiculous. So you don't even have to do this much work. This is a fast way to solve it, and I'll go through the slow way in a second, but you don't even have to do any of this. If you look at the question, one of the answers was 15,000 which is about three grand less, that's gonna be your closest bet. The other answers are way off. One answer was 2,000. One answer said the price of the boat went up after depreciating for the first year. I don't know what that's about, but there's no way that a boat's gonna cost more the next year. After one year of being on the market, it's going to depreciate. Therefore, we can throw that answer out. The answer that drops it down to 2,000, that's a steal, right? If somebody offers me an $18,000 boat for two grand, I'm gonna buy that thing. That's way too cheap, right? That's a really good deal. So it didn't go down by that much in the first year. So that leaves you with two options. One was 12,000 and one was 15,000. The 15,000 makes the most sense and it turns out to be the right answer. The 12,000 um, depreciates by too much. That takes away about six grand. Six grand is almost a third of 18. Six is one third of 18. So therefore, you know that it didn't depreciate by 33%. That's one third. It depreciated by just 15%. That's where you get that answer the fast, fast, fast way. Now, let's go ahead and down, pump the brakes a little bit, and make things a little bit easier. The, stri the strict mathematical way to do this is you find what 15% of the original price is, and then you subtract it and get the answer. Let's start with 18,340 times it by 0.15. Now, when you're doing a multiplication problem with decimals, you don't need to line up the decimal. Doing a multiplication problem with decimals, you just multiply it like normal, and then you add the decimal at the end. You'll notice that this is two times. The decimal is two times from the right. This decimal is just at the end, so we don't worry about it. This decimal is two times, so we're gonna know that we move the decimal two times. All right, and I'll show you that at the end. Uh, five times tables, really easy. Most of you guys are probably really good with your five times tables. Five times zero, zero. Five times four, 20, carry the two. Five times three, 15, plus two is 17, carry the one. Five times eight is 40, plus one, 41. Five times one is five, plus four is nine. 
Now, since we're multiplying by the tens place, we shift over one. So that's why I put this X here. Shift over one, and since it's multiplied by one, we just copy the number down. Zero, four, three, eight. Now we just add these bad boys up, and we'll be set. Zero, zero, 11. Three plus one plus one is five. Nine plus eight is 17. One plus one is two. We move the decimal two times. Two times, we're gonna move it two times. So the answer is this. Now that's the amount that's discounted. That's not the answer. That's why one of the answers was 2,000. It's trying to get you to guess that 2,000 amount. But the answer is actually after you take it away. What's the final price? Not the discounted price, the final price. And that's why these colors can help you. So you need to know what the question is asking. It's really important. So to get the final price, we take the amount that we had, we subtract the depreciated amount to get that final amount. We had 18,340. The boat went down by 2,751. And now we're gonna get that final price. We're right there at the end. This, we have to borrow again. So this, we borrow from the four, it becomes a three. 10 take away one is nine. We have to borrow three, take away five, you can't do it. So we gotta borrow from the next guy. This becomes a two, that becomes a 13. 13 take away five is eight. Now two take away seven, same deal. Can't do it, we gotta borrow from the next guy. So it becomes a 12. 12 take away seven is going to be five. And seven take away two is five as well. Our decimals line up, so we don't have to add any decimals, do any crazy decimal stuff. The answer is going to be $15,589. All right. Uh, hopefully that showed you the fast, fast way, kind of fast way, and then the slow, make sense way. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you could like it, subscribe it. I have a free ASVAB Domination Facebook group. This is where these videos are posted. Go ahead and check that out. We like to support each other in there. And then if you want to step up your level and get into my paid group, we're going to be starting in October. I'd love to have you there. At the end of the day, this is the arithmetic reasoning question of the day. Hit me up if you need any help. ASVAB Domination with Gammon Altutors. Take care.